Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Luke chapter six, verse 31. It reads as follows. Do to others as you would have them do to you. I remember this one time, this one situation where I essentially experienced two sides of the same coin in a work situation. On one side of the coin, I had created this one particular project that was pretty detailed and pretty developed and it was not a small thing. It helped a lot of people. It was you know, very fleshed out. It was very orderly and detailed. It was very on point. In helping people, it ran very efficiently and smoothly. And honestly, as I built the project, it was kind of a fight sometimes to sort of get respect or get recognition, but then it started helping more people and people kind of saw, oh wow, no, this is great. This is incredible. I can't believe you put this together. The problem was, out of nowhere, they sort of gave the project to someone else who maybe didn't sort of seem to have the same level of kind of put togetherness and honestly at times didn't kind of seem to want to do the work. On the other side of the coin, another time I came into this particular workplace where this one person had been promoted and they had created this particular project. They had developed it and designed it and it was in great shape. And I came in excited. I wanted to learn, I wanted to grow, I wanted to take it and you know propel the project forward. Again, they had been promoted, they were still there, but I came in after them and I wanted to do well. The problem was they saw it as me taking their baby, even though they had this great promotion and they were doing great, but they saw it as me taking their baby and they thought, I guess, that I would maybe make them look bad or I would sort of do things to this project of theirs. What was interesting was that when I came into the project where that person had been promoted, I was sort of taking over for them. They gave me the hardest time. I mean, they were not the nicest person. Instead of seeing that, you know, me as this person who would kind of take, you know, this thing that they created and, you know, just do great with it and keep up the greatness and, you know, do better with it. I think they honestly tried to ambush me a number of times because they just didn't want me to take over this project. They gave me a very hard time when I worked there. So when it came my turn to sort of pass a totally different project, totally different workplace, but to sort of pass a project on to another, God very clearly sort of dropped in my spirit, okay, what are you gonna do? I was reminded of that time where that person gave me a hard time and I, I hadn't been promoted, I was sort of still working on their project and I think God really wanted to see, really wanted to test me and see how would I treat someone else if the situations were reversed and you know, they were promoted, I was not, you know, they were sort of blessed and I was sort of in the same place, but I think God wanted to test and see still, what would I do in that situation? I had remembered, I knew how it felt to have that person treat me so horribly to try and sabotage and sabotage me to try and ambush me in so many ways and it felt horrible and I think the Lord wanted to see okay even if you don't get a promotion and even if you aren't you are in the same place how are you going to treat this person are you going to treat them the way this person treated you or are you going to take the high road act like a Christian and treat them the way I want you to treat them yes even training them and helping them and you know helping them to grow and get excited about it what are you going to do in this situation? Today's verse is the timeless classic verse that I think has obviously been so ingratiated in our society that we have forgotten that it's actually in the Bible, <laughs> but it's in the Bible. We are to do to others as we would like them to do to us. We are to treat others as we would like them to treat us. We are to handle, to speak to, to care for others like we would like that for us. A lot of times, unfortunately, we don't really do this, but we sort of I've done it, you know, we've all done it, <laughs> but we, we sort of justify our actions. Like, well, they are like this, so of course they deserve this treatment, or they're acting like that, or they don't even deserve it, they don't even want it, so it's fine for me to act this way. But do you know what else God dropped in my spirit in that situation? What if you are the recipient again, but on a much larger scale? Perhaps he was sort of testing me, let me see how you handled this, that is hard for you, that is difficult, to see how I'll bless you there. Take the high road, friends. Even if it doesn't feel great, it doesn't. Even if it doesn't seem right, even if it doesn't seem fair, it's always the right thing to do because a lot of times God is trying to set us up to bless us even further. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the golden rule, Lord. We thank you, God, that you have worked it out, God, that yes, we should do to others, God, as we would like them to do to us. We should give kindness as we want kindness. We should give patience and long suffering and understanding as we want those things in return, God. And even, Lord, let us not wait to 
get it first and then we give it, Lord. No, let's help us, Lord, help us, Lord, to just give it, Lord, to just be kind, Lord, to be loving, God, to be peaceful, God, to be long-suffering and patient and good. Help us to just do it first, God. You will always take care and be sure that it comes back to us, God, but help us to always take the high road. Sometimes it's not fun. It's not easy, God. It doesn't necessarily feel good, but later on we will see that we were so blessed because we took the high road, God, and we will so be happy because it will so be worth it. We love you, God. We thank you that you're always helping us to rise higher and do greater works, greater things for your glory, God. And we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching always. God bless you and I'll see you next time.